Namaskar, ladies and gentlemen. We warmly welcome our Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, to the first session of the National Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction. We also extend a very warm welcome to Honorable Union Minister for Home Affairs, Sri Shushil Kumar Shinde. We have with us Sri M. Shashidhar Reddy, Honorable Vice Chairman of the National Disaster Management Authority, and Sri Mullapalli Ramachandran, Honorable Minister of State Home. A very warm welcome to them all. Recognizing the need to foster and enable an environment for developing a culture of prevention of disasters and to enable concerted measures to facilitate the integration of disaster management into development and planning in various sectors and at all levels through a participatory decision-making process, Government of India has constituted a multi-stakeholder national platform for disaster risk reduction. The platform consists of number of stakeholders from different sectors who play a significant role in disaster risk reduction. This aims to bring together the whole range of India's disaster risk community. It will help in sharing of experiences and present findings of research and action and explore opportunities for mutual cooperation in the field of TRR. The output from the national platform will offer a strategic direction and a roadmap for the formulation of our future national action plans on TRR. The first session of National Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction has the theme Mainstreaming DRR in Development from Risk to Resilience. This is being hosted by the Ministry of Home Affairs along with the National Disaster Management Authority and the National Institute of Disaster Management in collaboration with national and international organizations. We hope that this platform by bringing all stakeholders together will help in reducing disaster risk of our community. I would like to now invite Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh to kindly light this ceremonial lamp. May I also request our esteemed dignitaries on the dais to kindly join in. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh and esteemed dignitaries on the dais for the lighting of the lamp. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to now request Sri M. Shashida Reddy, who is the Honorable Vice Chairman of NDMA, to kindly make his welcome address. Respected Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Home Minister Sri Sushil Kumar Shinde Ji, Honorable MOS Home Sri Mulapalli Ramchandran Ji, Excellencies, Union Ministers, Ministers from the States, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome the Honorable Prime Minister to this very important first session of the National Platform for disaster risk reduction. Sir, your presence today sends the right message to all the stakeholders about the relevance and importance of the NPDRR. I extend a warm welcome to the Honorable Home Minister, the MOS Home. I also extend a warm welcome to all the dignitaries and distinguished participants and representatives of the media. India is vulnerable to different disasters because of its unique geophysical conditions. 5,700 kilometers out of the 7,516 kilometers long coastline is vulnerable to cyclones and tsunamis. 40 million hectares accounting for about 12% of the land to floods. 58.6% of the land mass vulnerable to earthquakes in seismic zones 3, 4 and 5. 
68% of cultivable land vulnerable to droughts. We are also vulnerable to emergencies of chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear origins. Urbanization, industrialization and unplanned development in high-risk zones seriously increases vulnerability to disaster risk. Climate change adds a different dimension to the whole thing. Over the years, India and different countries of the world have experienced devastation from an increasing number of disasters which can seriously set back painstaking gains of development and threaten life, property and livelihood of people, particularly the poor. The Indian Ocean tsunami on 26 December 2004 took a toll of almost 14,000 lives in India. Besides over 2,30,000 lives in the Indian Ocean countries like Indonesia, Sri Lanka and Thailand. It left behind a trail of destruction perhaps not witnessed in a long time. The need to reduce the increased impact of disasters gained greater recognition leading to the commitment worldwide to take newer and definitive initiatives. The World Conference on Disaster Reduction in January 2005 in Hugo adopted the Hugo Framework of Action 2005 to 15 with the following priorities of action. Number one, ensure that disaster risk reduction is a national and local priority with a strong institutional basis for implementation. Identify, assess and monitor disaster risks and enhance early warning. Use knowledge, innovation and education to build a culture of safety and resilience at all levels. Reduce the underlying risk factors and strengthen disaster preparedness for effective response at all levels. The Government of India, sir, under your leadership, took a defining step with the enactment of the Disaster Management Act 2005 and the setting up of the National Disaster Management Authority with the Honourable Prime Minister himself as the Chairman, thus fulfilling the long-felt need for an institutional mechanism at the national level. The DM Act also provides for the setting up of the State Disaster Management Authorities and the District Disaster Management Authorities. The District Disaster Management Authorities are chaired by the local district collectors and co-chaired by the chairperson of the Zilla Parishad to bring a public interface at the grassroots level which is so important. The NDMA has set itself an agenda to bring about a paradigm shift in disaster management from rescue-centric approach to a holistic approach covering all aspects of disaster management including pre prevention, preparedness and mitigation besides rehabilitation and reconstruction. The change in the mindset which is so important for this shift to take place is slowly but surely becoming evident at all levels of political leadership and administrative hierarchy. Last year a parliamentary forum on disaster management has been set up for the first time. This also has to permeate into the community for which greater efforts would be required to generate public awareness in a big way. This will, in turn, further crystallize political and administrative will. NDMA is engaged with the Planning Commission from the 10th plan period onwards on how best disaster risk reduction can be mainstreamed into development planning. The approach paper to the 12th five year